for Asgard. There's a trend going on on YouTube, I guess you can say for a while now, where a lot of these gurus, self-help, you know, motivational speakers, they're using the term chosen ones. Everyone is now using this term, chosen ones, chosen ones, you're a chosen one. We, we, we all can't be chosen ones. Everyone that's going through stuff, you all, we all cannot be chosen ones. But this is, it's obviously, you know, a manipulation tactic from these gurus or self-talk. And it, it, it's, it's so easy to be this so-called guru because all you've got to do is, is relate and tell people what they want to hear. So easy. We just we just can't all be chosen ones. We we it, it's not possible that every person in these comments going through the same thing are chosen ones. I'm pretty sure a lot of them are assholes, jerks, they're pricks. A lot of them are, you know, say sinners, if you want to be use the Christian terminology. A lot of them are evil, a lot of them are ruthless, a lot of them own dogs, a lot of them love pit bulls. So we all can't be chosen ones. A lot of them probably eat meat. A lot of them have probably hurt someone recently, physically. So a lot of them probably do steal. A lot of them are very ignorant and arrogant. But then they read these things, oh, I'm going through this. And, and now they think they're the chosen ones? We, we, we all can't be chosen ones. And this is it's just a tactic that they use to, to manipulate, to get views or to get money. Out in the real world, where, where are these people? Where are these people? You only, you only hear about these people on YouTube. Because it's so easy. Because in the real world, you're not going to talk about certain things up front. But on the in the internet world, the virtual world... You're able to search anything you want and, and no one's going to judge you. No one's going to say anything. No one's, no one's going to care. But in, in the real world, you ask questions like, you know, why do a lot of people stare at me? Um, you know, why, you know, do I have such a, I don't know, a, a, a high energy of things? And why do I like being alone? Things like that. A, a lot of people on the internet can can relate to that. But in real world, they're, they're not going to answer that. They're going to look at you like you're crazy. They're, they're going to judge you in the real world. They're going to be like, hey, be quiet. I don't know. Therefore, you're not going to speak up in, in the real world. So it's so easy to do it in, in, in the virtual world because it's less judgment. Um. You're listening to people with high views, high subscribers, and you, automatically you think that this person knows what they're talking about. This think this person's legit. And and a lot of them of these YouTubers, these gurus, self help, motivational speakers. I'm not picking. I'm not gonna name any, but I think a lot of them, at least three quarters of them, are are are, are lying bull 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 s bull s b s scammers. They know what to say. It's a psychology. With people, people want to fit in somewhere. People want to fit in somewhere. Doesn't matter. Uh, other than exception of myself, I really don't care. But with people, Generally speaking, people, even these so-called chosen ones, they all want to fit in somewhere. And when they see someone saying what they want to hear and they read other people relating, they now feel like, hey, I fit in here. I'm part of a group now. They're going to support the, the, the group, the company, etc. It's all psychology. Then this becomes this cult and then they just obey whatever this person says without doing their research or anything like that. See, see, this chosen one thing, this whole guru, motivational speakers, a lot of them are, are just BSing. 
they 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 are aware of how people function and, and some sometimes you don't even have to be conscious about how the way people function some sometimes it's just subconscious it's unconscious to just know hey this is how people do and they they're just going to do it they're not even going to think about it they're just going to do it they're just going to say certain things because they know it's going to sound right know what's going to sound good and with these with this whole chosen one nonsense you don't have to prove anything. All you got to do is say, hey, you're a chosen one. Look at all these videos too. Demons love to assist the chosen ones. Demons don't exist though. They don't exist. This is why chosen ones are not alone, no friends, and no relationship. A lot of us can relate to this and then instantly when he speaks, oh, uh, oh someone who, who agrees with me, I must be chosen one. No, likely you are not. It's like you're, you're just a jerk. Most likely you are a jerk. Just wanting to fit in somewhere. Probably do a lot of bad things in your life. And you think you're a chosen one? <sighs> chosen ones can... Chosen ones never be... Chosen ones never be unsure of yourself because others are. Chosen ones, they thought they made you when you made them. God's grace. Again, God... No, no one knows if God actually exists. I don't even think if, if this so-called God exists, I don't think the, the so-called God is going to name it, it or her or himself God. When it's bat, when spelled backward, it's dog. So no one knows the name of this God or if there are other gods or their creators. No one knows the name of it. It's, it's just so easy with these gurus, especially the Christian ones, to add God to it, add Jesus to it, add heaven, add the demons to it. And you can manipulate anyone with this with this nonsense. Chosen ones. See, it's just chosen ones. All this nonsense. Chosen ones. God is testing. God ain't testing nothing. This whole world is going up in shambles. People are getting blown up. Children are, are dying, starving. And God is going to test some middle class person. Really? Why won't God just go and help other people out there that are suffering? But meantime, God wants to test some middle class them for what? Just so they can go on YouTube and, and make comments? I mean, I mean, okay, if if you are really a chosen one, you shouldn't need another human being. We don't even know who they are. You don't even know what they have done to call you a chosen one and to accept it. If you're a real chosen one, you would not need anyone to tell you that. You would not need any type of validation. You would not need need any type of, um, you know, anyone to, to relate to you. You wouldn't need that. It's so easy. When you have... You know, some sort of power, control, a voice, a, a medium, a media. You can control anyone. And 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 the three the three the three main ways you can control someone is through fear, through trauma, and only if they ask questions. If they don't ask questions, they're not gonna care. If they're not going through any kind of fear uh, moment in their life, they're not. Nothing's gonna change. No trauma in their life. Nothing's gonna change. But if they if they're experiencing any type of fear, trauma, and they ask questions, it is so easy to manipulate them. Obviously, you gotta sound good, dress the part, look like someone. But that's all part of the manipulation. Would any of these people accept uh, advice from? You know, someone that looks like crap, looks like garbage, who has an eye hang out of their eye socket? No, they would not. They wouldn't even look. And they want to call themselves chosen ones? If you are a real chosen one, then you would be able to know when you should listen to someone or not listen to someone based on their appearance. But all these so-called chosen ones, they're, they're bullshitters. They're arrogant. They're ignorant. They just, they just, they just want to be a part of something. When they, when they're just, 
they're, they're, most of them are probably worthless. Three quarters of them, I think, are worthless. I think all time uh, of, of this earth of people, I think maybe 0.7% of people have actually been the chosen ones. A legit so-called chosen ones. Whatever that, I don't really don't know what that means. But in terms of uh, commonality, they're the chosen ones. They're, they're the, the special ones. They're the ones that look so different, behave different. They're the ones that have this power. And it's not about being rich. It's not even about being successful. It's not even about the things you wear. It's, 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 it's about the things you do and that energy that comes from you. And like I always say, I don't want no one believing what I say. Do go on and do your own research. Go on and experience things for yourself. And, and, and that's where these gurus and these so-called YouTubers, motivational speakers, that's one, that's one thing I have a problem with. They, they all talk as if they know the truth. They all talk as if they have it all. They all talk, of it, talk as if everything they say is objective, obsolete, 100%. But no one knows everything. Again, chosen ones, your light irritates demons. Again, demons don't exist. And, and you, can't, you, can't, you can't be Christian. You cannot be a Christian and be a so-called chosen one. Because Christianity is bullshit. Christianity is bullshit. The whole church is bullshit. The whole doctrine, the whole Bible is nonsense. So you cannot be a Christian and say you're a chosen one. That makes no sense. No sense. And for someone to die and then resurrect, what's the point of dying then if you're just going to come back alive anyways? It's not really a sacrifice. But I, but I get the story. The whole story is really... It's about the sun. It's not really about a so-called person. But anyways, I got to go. But for Asgard,